All right, let's get to recording. We still gotta do Patrick's story, but we gotta speed it up. <clears throat> so you wanted a mature voice for this one? Slim, slightly mature with a pinch of childish behavior. Uh, I'll try. My name's Chris. I'm a photographer. He sits down beside beside me and hands me his business card. Couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Are you two in the music industry? Music industry? I was thinking, if you're musicians, then you might need pamphlets or posters made. Contact me if you do. I'll take the photos and get and get whatever else you need ready. Mr. Chris Armstrong, huh? I'll contact you if I need something. I mutter as I look at his business card, and he spreads his arms in an exaggerated manner. No need for the mister. Just call me Chris. What's your name, by the way? He says, he says, and bring his face closer when Patrick suddenly calls out. What's this, Myra? Being hit on? I guess everyone has their tastes. What? I turn around to see him laughing, but when Chris notices Patrick, he speaks up in a quiet voice. Huh? Are you... Mm. Patrick's expression grows stern, causing Chris to fall silent and shrug his shoulders. Okay, this is none of my business. Just forget about me. Chris says before moving his seat further down inside the bar. What just happened? What, what was that man about to say? When I looked over at Patrick, he's just drinking us if nothing had happened. Hey, Patrick, do you know him? No, I don't think so. Why? Well, he seemed to know you. That's his problem. None of my concern. Patrick applies bluntly and then stands up. It's time to go home. And aunt, bring me the check. I think back to when I told Patrick things weren't going well. I see. Well, yeah, makes sense. Then I remember how the cameraman, Chris, was acting all weird. Huh? Are you... This is none of my business. Just forget about me. After that, it's obvious Patrick is hiding something. But what is he hiding? What is it he doesn't want to talk about? He's obviously the jealous type. How would you know? <laughs> Please. I don't have to know. Just... Just... Uh, forget it. <sighs> explain. No, I don't. I don't have to explain how to see a jealous person right in front of me. Can you tell by the way they act? Yes. And they act, if they act aggressively towards someone they like, as if telling the other person, guy or girl, to back off in their own way, then it's obvious they're like, stay away from my, for the person I like. So technically he's kind of a guard dog. Uh, no. I'm just read. Whatever. When I leave the office the next day, Pablo is waiting for me with a look of expectation on his face. Hey, Mara. Feels like it's been ages since I last saw you. How are you finding the job? Well, it's going all right. You seem down. Something worrying you? Or have you just fallen in love with me? 
You're as carefree as ever. I'm just a bit worried about Patrick. My attempts to promote him today had been fruitless too. Every conversation I every conversation had been going great up until I mentioned Patrick's name. I feel like he's hiding something from me, and that it might be the reason I'm not able to to promote him. Patrick, huh? Well, if it's him we're talking about. Just as Pablo's speaking, we hear the sound of heels behind us. It's Gloria. Pablo makes a bow. Sorry, Myra. F to take Gloria somewhere, so you'll need to ask Patrick about it himself. It's okay, Pablo. Please wait just a moment. Gloria thinks for a moment before turning to face me. Myra, do you have a moment? I nod at which point Gloria brings me into her car and takes me to a sparsely populated jazz bar. Why did we come here? It's still early, so there's a good place to have a relaxed conversation. I'll have a sparkling water. Is there anything you like, Myra? She recommends me the same thing, so I order it. It, appear, it appears you're having a lot of trouble trying to make Patrick famous. Yes, it always seems to be going well, but I can never get him any work. I answer downhearted and Gloria smiles gratefully gracefully damn it <laughs> hey this is the last story ticket so make it quick fine where's all the figure you had at the start without it there's there was no point in me scouting you I'm sorry I'll try speaking to Patrick about it this evening at this point, Gloria ex Gloria's express expression softens. If you're going to talk to him, then I'll give you a hint. The reason you're struggling to make him famous is likely related to his family. Huh? His name is Patrick Hughes. You know that, yes? Yes, but what of... Wait, Hughes? Yes, that Hughes. Hughes is an industry leader in the manufacturing of musical instruments. They're the ones who made the piano and flute I have back at home. So Patrick's from that family? Yes, and he has one older brother. Do you understand what that means in the world of music? It's impossible to make a living in the music industry if you go against the Hughes family. Their massive strength makes them a formidable enemy. That's what Gloria's getting at. Is this the reason why it was so hard to borrow a studio? Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> you want to make this a two-parter? No. Let's go to the skit and music video. Fine. Bye, Shabbat fans. Bye.